Hey guys, good morning. It's Tony. How you doing? Um, currently, right now, we are nearing um, another sort of sell-off. Uh, the previous forecast was actually for ADA and other crypto to essentially have a big push to the upside or trade sideways for a little bit and then run to the upside. So again, we did actually break that 249 for ADA and we did hit peaks of 265 for ADA for Cardano. I do think right now we are actually trailing down, maybe retesting 250 as support and possibly um, jumping upwards from there again. Uh, the hour does look like it's going to be trailing down. Um, on the four hour, we created that bullish push right around here. So August 20, today in the morning, August 21st, around, oh, it was actually yesterday, like at 5 o'clock p.m. And we ran from like a 248 uh, all the way up to like a 254. And then after that, we actually kept pushing towards the upside. And the daily, the same exact way, it's creating brand new bull pushes. So if in the next nine hours, <coughs> Cardano closes on the bullish side, I do expect us to keep rallying uh, to the high side, right? To keep, to, to basically stay bullish. Um, I think we are coming back down. We are retesting $2.50, $2.49, and then possibly bouncing back to the upside. Um, Ethereum is looking the same way. <sighs> so it still hasn't gone away from this trading range. Ethereum does not want to break this trading range right now, which is super kind of concerning because right now it's at what? The top, the top, the top part of the price was 3350. Bottom part of the price was like around 2900, right? And I actually thought Ethereum by now would have hit 3500. Keep in mind, Bitcoin is once again leading. And I, and I told you guys this like a week or two ago that Bitcoin is actually leading. Ethereum is no longer leading. And you can obviously see that by Ethereum still trading within this range and Bitcoin basically running up close to 50K, right? So it hit peak of 50K when yesterday. So almost, it hit 49, 49,821. So it almost hit uh fifty thousand dollars yesterday or today in the morning possibly but we have nine more hours until we actually close uh uh on the daily but again the daily looks like it's a weekend bull again which is one of the reasons why i'm worried because as of right now i'm thinking that bitcoin can rally possibly to maybe fifty one and a half fifty two thousand dollars and then possibly drop from there because why the weekly is again it's looking like a weekend bull, right? And again, if, if in nine hours, we actually close the week as a weekend bull, um, or not, not we don't take this as a weekend, but like a weak bull, right? Like a bull that, is, that that's weak, right? Um, if we close here, then that's one more step into considering that, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, really all of crypto can sell off again. And this goes back to my original thesis of, the possibility of crypto selling off for another 30 to 60 percent on the downside right which would put uh bitcoin roughly around the 30k range again somewhere around there right um but again um the the only the only good part right now that i can see from bitcoin is that we're actually currently uh overextended or overbought on the four hour and we actually created a, a bear trigger back on yesterday so august 20th at five o'clock in the afternoon and all we've really done is trade sideways right we haven't traded down which is which is great which means that the next time we actually create a bull push on bitcoin to the upside i do think we're gonna hit fifty thousand, more than likely higher than that um but you know again we have to start closing uh weekend bearish candles on the reverse macd which we're not you know we started doing it right here for a couple of hours right in increments for the last 12 hours or so and then as of right now in the next hour two hours actually it looks like bitcoin might actually close um a full bull candle for the four hour which is not good short term right this is really just short term stuff um i we really need this to close another uh, bullish trigger on the upside while the stochastic is still overbought because that would mean that this forecast that i had for bitcoin would actually be pushing up to the lower end of the 50k mark for bitcoin but again 
once you reach this high side um it gets a little worrisome because it all depends on the weekly and how we close because if we start closing you know stronger bear momentum on the weekly that, that's not good <laughs> right because there's a stronger chance that we that we would still fall um but again short term definitely bearish on ada bitcoin ethereum basically all crypto i'm still bullish short term longer term i don't want to say i'm bearish but i still need confirmation on the weekly to close bearish in order for me to actually see you know actual confirmation that we're gonna go back down um but as of right now ada bdc ethereum they're really ethereum and, and bitcoin are really just kind of trading sideways ada hit new highs at 260 i think that ada is gonna see another fall maybe soon but again the hour is looking like it's just barely closing uh weakened bear momentum so i think for ada you might actually see a drop back to 250 retesting that as a support and then bouncing up from there if the hour ends up going bullish on the chart so i'll see you guys later uh hopefully you guys uh you know like the video or whatever all that good stuff if you're not subscribed and you're new here you know i try to be as accurate on my ta as possible um and you can go to like my most recent videos to just kind of like see if you like the stuff that i say or not and most of the time when i make videos i'm either working out or in the bathroom because that's when i have time <laughs> so i'll see you guys later have a great weekend well one more thing i might actually go live later today maybe sometime like like yesterday sometime around six o'clock in the afternoon maybe seven it really depends on when i have time i'm gonna start setting an actual schedule that way like you know every saturday at this time i'm going live so everybody knows because i know a lot of people are not getting my notifications on youtube when i go live and you know it sucks because if my, the notifications when i go live get sent out um it would bring a lot more people in um which definitely helps grow the channel you know so i'll be looking into the live thing but i think i'm gonna start setting actual like schedules for my live that way you know regardless if you guys are able to make it you know that i'll be live whether it's on a saturday or sunday officially every single you know saturday or sunday at a specific time so that way even if you don't get notifications you'll know that at a specific time i'll always be live um so i'll see you guys later have a great day have a great weekend and you know let's let's hope that everything starts really running towards the upside super hard but